on fire. Hello guys, D Nutty here. We're back with another game of uh you know, just a random game. Well this game is called um The Ancient Mark Episode One and uh it, it's it's a harder game. Putting it lower. A bit too loud. Um yeah. Alright, so as you can see here we're gonna look at quickly load the fuck no, no, not load. It's fucking scary. All right, so we got the active. You can interact with the object in the item in the room. Go to the next room. Leave it close up view. So check left, right, right, right. skip text. So general inventory. All right, quickly. <laughs> Fuck. That sounds really weird. Um. Okay. April twenty sixth, two thousand and twelve. Wow. Oh, three days until my birthday. My name's William. Oh, what? these last days I've been a real pain in the ass. <laughs> You see, I've got struck in the same old glitch scenario when those situations seem to flourish in the movies and detective. Parents die, son inherits the family house in the small town, son moves into it. After spending a great deal of days in insulation and terror due to savage attack with terrible headaches and mumbo jumbo, surreal dreams, I decided to go out for a walk so as to become with the real world once more. Oh, cock. Cock. <laughs> I disembark with the adventure and cut on myself coffee taken with Kate, sweet little Kate, she's a, she's an incoming man of nothing after a journey. Oh, come on! Don't know how this will turn out, but sure as well is much better than another right of interview. Come on! Gotta get in there, I can't finish this. It goes too quick. Alright. Well, okay, so we start off in this weird place. So it's a weird game, I can see. It's pretty cool. Whoa. Looks weird. Can I interact now? What kind of place is this? Oh, come on, come on, William. Snap out of it. Just one of those dreams again. Okay. Um, uh, let's get the test. Text, text. Shiny red marbles are scattered everywhere in the ground. I grabbed one and started praying to on it, into it. It's a texture that was smooth and I could feel a sense of coolness inside me, my, inside my palm. I decided to keep it inside my pocket. Okay, so, uh. This word. I refuse to hit the refuse head. Inside its mouth, one could some tiny holes. It seemed to that you could adapt something in them. Oh, wait! Can you, like. I think you can interact with them in here. The pillar that stands before me is inarguably huge. With close examination, one can see refused sketch of shapes, even though they're all artistically accurate. One of these shapes that located down below the pillar appears to stand out. It looks like a human head, whose mouth wide open looks more of a demon than a man. Now that I can think about it. Oh, you can, like, move down and shit. Oh, that is awesome. Move to the left and right. Um, uh, go to my inventory. Oh, so many of these. Um, I've had my share of Weko dreams till now. Alright, but this, this must, must be Hoffman's paradise. I'm not in Earth anymore. Clearly, I'm drifting in a pitch black wormhole of a universe that nobody knows of. In some kind of dried up planet. And I believe that I can see constant, constant, blah, constellations crystal clear, forming themselves of a nothingness above my head. And what appears to, to darken sky with a wound. As well, this is much more than I can handle. I must wake up. Find my way. Oh, yeah, that's freaking scary. Scary shit, bro. Okay, there's nothing really to interact with now. Anything there? The soil is wet and I have the impression that freaks an extraordinary, disgusting smell. Or well, not exactly a smell, it's an it's essence of filth. Yeah, that's it. Um. Uh, right. Oh, wait. Okay, so. Wait 
one of them forms the right, correct shape. Alright. That one just, look, that one just, that one just, Oh, it's not this either one. Yeah. Okay. I'm really crippled end to it. I've got this really crippled end to it. Come on. Come on. Okay, which one looks like this? I'll leave that one for now, I want some next bit. Oh, alright. Oh, there you go. Lost one. Yes, alright. There we go. Mystery done. So this is a really weird game. It's uh, oh god, oh god. I'm going crazy. I can't stand this anymore. My head's gonna explode. The pain just keeps getting stronger and stronger. And I didn't know why. And as far as those dreams, I'm pretty sure it's a message from my own brain, screeching and groaning furiously at me. <gasps> yeah, read the whole shit. <laughs> read all of it. Sometimes I believe that my brain hates me and wants to smash my insanity to your life in pieces. Oh, Watch this. Oh, well, it's just great. The only thing missing for the life right now: problems with electricity. It's a bit hard to see what's going on before Kate's arrival for dinner. All right. Okay, this game's real weird. It's got a weird thing to it. You're the key. Ma. Oh, no, I don't. Wanna. You can go to different places, which is really awesome. It's like an interactive game. Ready for food is an oven. Too much ready. I hadn't bought food at the morning, the refrigerator would be empty and useless. Got the hammer. I wonder how it ended up in the balcony. Okay, I want to get back inside. Um, uh, Bedroom. One of the wire settings will be outside the socket. <laughs> God, that's fucking scary. My parents bed call me a romantic or just plain weak of heart, but I can't sleep. Here, at least for now, every night I find myself Trying to relax in that damned couch in the living room. Couch in the living room. With no luck, I may add. Best parents ever. <laughs> what was that? Hello? Dude, I'm hearing stuff. The fuck's this? Alright, this is fucking scary. No, oh, alright, table to 12, 2012. Well, it's sort of weird. It, this is like, wait, wait, it's at the 24th, though. Is this going back in time? I don't know. The hell. Okay. Let's, anyway, let's just start reading it. Cause 
This morning I woke up earlier than usual. I had to do some chores before coming to the office. I went downtown and followed the path towards the closet subway station. The weather was a mess. You couldn't see the sun. It was it's about thick clouds painted with the colours of ash. After going down the up the escalators, I waited in line as usual in front of booking uh, of the booking office. Mm. Suddenly, while waiting for something to happen, I even thought I was still numb and sleepy. I had this strange, unnamed feeling that something wasn't the way it's supposed to be. God, the only thing I was able to see was heads staring at the pavement and faces devoid of hope, devoid of life. Oh, come on, man, this is freaking scaring me. God, fucking scaring me. Look at the mouse, it's got green and shit. Alright, I only managed to see their eyes twice or so. Oh, for fuck's sake. But when I did, they had no pup pu pupils. Oh, God. Only the wide grey of an intergalactic circle of defeat, spanning more and more, even passing second. What's wrong with everybody? Am I the only person alive that does not to embrace this sub pessimist sigh? Sadness, rage, hate. To hell with all the semi nihil what the fuck nihilistic shit. Oh, you are crazy, you're absolutely wacko, William. I thought. Maybe I was right. So guys, I guess I'll quickly end it here on this uh, episode. Please leave a like, uh, write a comment below, and don't forget to write and don't forget to subscribe. And how do I come out of here? How do I get out of the page? Anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to write the comment below, like this video, and do not forget to subscribe. So I'll see you guys then on the next episode of um. Uh, Ancient Mark, um, Paul, I think it's episode one, yeah. So, see you guys later, and uh, don't forget to uh, stay tuned to my channel. So, yeah. Hi.